Hello everyone, welcome back, it's Chuck Thunder, we're doing a quick episode today, well, quick, I don't know, it's gonna be as long as it takes for me to do one little detail, because I want to show you what my plan is for the next few episodes, I guess, I mean, it's gonna take a while for me, because I need to do some research and all that stuff, but, I do want to start working on ship building, and I know this is a big series that people are asking for, because it's one of those things that not many people know how to do from start to finish, which, whether or not I get to actual finish, it's real never probably not gonna happen but at least get started so we can get ourselves out of you know basic ships that we can buy from the shipwrights and the shipmasters and into ships that we can make for ourselves and maybe make a profit at it um i don't know that i'll be able to do that either but i'm gonna show you along the ride as best as i can so the first and foremost thing that i know i need to do in order to get ship building started is i need to look at my skills here and i need to show you the skill tree and how to get there so First things first, we find shipbuilding not underneath adventure or trade, ironically enough, not under trade, but under battle. And underneath the battle skills, it's right above repair, and there it is, shipbuilding. Ships can be built at the shipyard. Now, the basic idea of shipbuilding is, is you will select a ship you want to build. As long as you have the components to make the ship, you essentially can make the ship, but it takes days at sea in order to make the ship. So, in order to get that skill, though, in the first place, we need to have a repair of three. So, since this is double XP weekend, um, I am going to start working on my repair skill. And we're almost already there with where I'm at. Um, this is just from playing regularly here. And what I might end up doing is just either trying to run myself aground a little bit more and seeing how that works. Or I might do a little bit of um, battle and letting ships uh, cannon me until I'm basically destroyed. Um, and see where that goes from there. Um, and one of the other things, oh, we got fireworks when we logged in today, so let's show us some fireworks. Pew, pew, pew. Let's do another one. Do another one here. I don't even know. How do I take a screenshot? I forget now. F1. I hope, hope that was it. I have no idea. Alt F1? Probably Alt F1. Do it again. Missed it. I might have to try it again. There we go. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Screenshot for the for the title. But we are actually gonna start doing shipbuilding as soon as my situation lets me do so. Um, so today's episode might just be spent, depending on how quickly it is, to get my re my repair up, so I can get to shipbuilding, which is then located in Tunis, and we're going to get to Tunis, and we're going to get started on doing shipbuilding. Um, there may not be enough time to show you all of that. Um, there probably will be, but that's going to be my first and foremost goal of this episode. Um, well, and also while we're killing time, because there's a lot of sailing time in between, I'm going to show you my other tune. Um, and where he's at with this. Now, I thought maybe I would do shipbuilding with him because I already have repair level 3. Um, but I would need ship level, a uh, shipbuilding level. Th uh, sorry, I could start shipbuilding, but I don't have the skills um, slots available to get the other partner skills that kind of go with shipbuilding. Um, uh, and I'd like to. I'd like to get a job that is um, capable for shipbuilding. Um, it's a shipbuilding favored um, and there are skills out there there are no skills there are jobs out there that are um, specific for shipbuilding um, and I can find them out real quick uh, we'll see UWO shipbuilding guide and there's like three or four that are purposely good um, let's see here all right so you're gonna want to either be a shipwright job arms dealer tactician or guardian. Um, you'll need half the amount of time to level your shipbuilding skill um, once you are in a favored deal. And so I said, oh, let me see if I can get arms dealer. And in order to get arms dealer, I learned you have to have um, a total level of 50. So 28 trade and 16 battle, which I do have with this tune, but not the other tune. Um, and you have to know, I believe, French and casting four. So that would be this other tune. Um, not this one, but the other tune. Um, 
Chuck Thunder, not Charles Thunder, because he actually has casting 11. So I'd be more likely to get him with that. But the one thing he doesn't have is battle level of 16. So I am like all around screwed with getting a favorite skill with that tune. So one of the things I'm going to have to grind at some point, unfortunately, is to grind his battle skill. Because right now he's only a level 3 in battle. So, don't know that we finished the battle um, job, actually. The battle, the battle Maritime School. So, they might have to do that and see where we end up with our battle levels. Uh, we might not have much of a choice. But, at the very least today, we could show you how to start shipbuilding, potentially, if I can get my repair skill uh, finished with this tune. So, in the meantime, let's do some of the, the dailies that I do with my tunes every day. Let us get into the districts here. Do I have any cargo? No, I don't. So, we are going to first go to um, do some of our regular routine things that we do every day. We go to our main city, we go to the bank, we pick the things out of the um, warehouse so we could either fix them or sell them or turn them into stuff. Let's see here. Okay, we're here. I got, oh my, my uh, bizarre finally sold stuff. I don't remember what it was that it sold, but that's awesome. Um, Alright, so developing facility. I just like to do maintenance. I don't really know what that does. But, we are going to get my stuff for the warehouse. And we are going to go sell. And we might hold on to the iron and coal there, or whatever it is, graphite, so we can give that to the other guy. Um, what do we have? We have pigs. Yep. Turn them to ham. Oh, we don't have the... Done. Might have other things I could probably convert over. The other guy almost here. Eh, turning the corner soon. Okay. So what we did with that. We got our other stuff all ready for him. Don't need to do anything else as far as I know. This guy we probably will stop you playing today with in a moment. Um don't really know that I'm doing anything with him today. I know I want to use one of these things, but I need to have a higher level battle skill for Chungus. Or a higher level adventure skill for Erida. But... Alright, so... That is all we need to do with him. We'll just pop him over here. Oh, there's Franco. See how to Franco do the Pepe. This is his hangout spot, I guess. Can we wave at him? Wave. We waving. We waving. All right. And we'll go to Chuck. Chuck Thunder is here. We are gonna. We might just fleet up with my other tune just for the sake of fleeting. And then we're going to trade to him. I got to accept the trade. I don't think I have anything to give him from this guy. Except for checks. We'll leave the checks on. give him. So he's getting offered that. He's getting offered this. Confirmed. Alright, now Chuck Thunder can just quickly convert this stuff over to steel. 
well, as much as he can, and what he can here. What can he do with steel and iron? Can he make something from steel and iron? Nothing alone in that book. Nothing in that book. Huh. From steel and iron, I can make two-handed swords. So let's just do that, just to get that over with. Alright. And we're going to go sell that. Just to get rid of it. Sweet. Alright. Alright, so now... We need to go bash ourselves in the face um, with our uh, boat here. Let's go get our boat smashed up and see how much repair work damage we could do. We have enough of this here. We got a lot of timber on us already. You can see I was prepared to do this. We might even go try to do a battles with some ships. He sails over that way. Like I said, there's not much else I can do with this tune right now. I'll just go put some money away. Go put some money away. If our ship hits ground on the other tune, it's not a big deal. We'll put away... 2.9 million. I have to keep about a million on me. Oop, I know what I meant to do. Well, I meant to go pick some stuff at the bank with this guy, character. Completely forgot. Well, something we will do later. Well, we got a ship that is sunk. No, maybe not. Just looking for some ships that would like to kick my butt. Scary ships that want to kick my butt. Do I see some here? I think I see a couple right here. Are you the kind of boat that wants to kick my ass? No. How about you? You look the kind of boat that wants to kick my ass. Would you like to kick my ass? Yeah, you're the kind of ship that wants to kick my ass. Alright, let's do this. I have no battle skills. I have one cannon. do it. Keep shooting me, guys. Keep shooting me.
boring, boring ship fight with one cannon. But I'm just trying to take as much damage as I can. Getting there, we're at 500, and I think we need to get to 800. Ah. Well, we need to take some critical hits or something. So, there we go. That'll that'll hurt. There we go. Still taking damage. Didn't bring enough cannons. Just gotta keep taking damage. There we go. at 600. Oh, I'm stupid. I'm not using a experience boost or a skill proficiency boost. It's for seven days, though. Well, whatever. I want the boost. It's working. Crud, we're in a manly battle. Well, we got plundered and we lost some money. Is there any way to get out of this situation? I do. Let us restock. Part of the failures of things when you do this sort of thing. But we are trying our best. Fire off the firework. We're live. We made it. Alright. Um, so we already used the skill proficiency boost for 30%. Now we could do the exp experience for 30%. But we're not really doing anything to grind experience. We're just grinding our skill right now. And I'm just, it's temporary, but I'm just trying to grind skill. I guess I could do experience so that way I can get more battle. But it's not what I'm focusing on today. I'm focusing on getting my repair up. And then going and getting shipbuilding and then seeing how to start that process. Because I don't know enough about it yet. 
What I do know is what I've told you so far. Get to the simple things first. And that is repair level 3. And then to Tunis and learn shipbuilding. And that's where we're going to start with this episode. As we creep our way back to whatever town this is. Oh, uh, Wendy Chan, she built me a. He or she, I'm sure, built me a boat well, once before. A windjammer is cool. I would love a windjammer. Okay. Let's get some more sailors. Let's check our provisions. We can use some munitions. Some water. And we are going to fix our sails. Do we have a way to fix our sails? I don't know. So if not, we will just go here and we will do a quick repair at the dock end if we don't have a way to fix it. Sail. Everyone knows that song, right? You know it. All right, back out to get my ass beat again. Maybe we'll pick on the someone our own size. Maybe we'll pick on these barkas. They're really close to getting to. Yeah, we're only 100 and 145 away. So let's try this. Maybe these guys won't hurt me too much. And they're going to use their ballistic skill. Well, I'm a little too strong. It seems. Yeah, a little too strong for this ship. This set of ships. They didn't even fire once. Well, we did get battle XP. Probably go after somebody a little bit bigger. The ship is so slow. Alright, I think we see the same enemies we were dealing with before. So back to battle with them again. Get there, we're gonna get there. Oh, we're at seven hundred on the repair skill. Come on.
We're almost there. Seven fifty. damage I take I could use and turn it into a repair come on how you only doing one damage to me So close. I could taste it. Gosh, we're so close. Come on, this is taking forever. Shoot your darn cannons at me. There we go. There we go, good. Now we can get out of this damn situation. Oh, ha, that would make sense. Because I attacked first, I can't escape. That would make a lot of sense now, wouldn't it? Ow. Sorcery Thunder. Alright, we are free. We are free. Alright, and with that, we will finally return to our Seville situation and get that handled. Yeah, we want to now, now that we are level 3 in our repair, we can go get shipbuilding from Tunis. Even though our ship is like destroyed now. All right. So that finishes up. Alright, so that is now finishing up. And then we will quickly, and ever so quickly, go to the bank, do what we gotta do there. There's some other skills I'd like to get with shipbuilding, I just don't know what they're gonna be. 
I know nothing about what skills go well with it other than maybe casting or sewing or things of that nature or, or handicrafts or something like maybe you need things from them I don't know but shipbuilding we are going to start with today and maybe look into doing whatever that unlocks for us go to the bank real quick I don't know what to do with this tune right now. It's kind of pointless. Maybe I'll just tow Chuck Thunder there because it's faster. That's a good idea. Get him ready for port. That's what we'll do. Have you sit in port. And then get you everything put away. Receive my compensation because I got sunk. Farm. We are developing a mine. Do that. We are also doing quarters too, so we can't forget that. Quarters. And we are doing that as well. And then I don't have anything in cargo here that we have to worry about. Just converting this stuff over to steel much as we can, of course. Do this. And just sell it all. Okay. Get you to the dock. To port. We'll get you some sailors. Make sure you're all set on goods. You seem to be. Set sail. Thought we never did the sail thing, but that's okay. We'll do something for you. Sail, auto nav, to Tunis, follow, set you up, do an exchange, switch back over, say yes, you have sales, we'll give you a sale, offer, accept, 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 and then we'll use that sale. And flip you over to surveying, frugality, and caution. And we'll fire off your fireworks. Ooh, it's purple. Do that again. Cool. All right, so we're on our way. All right, so let's get our butts all the way to Tunis. So yeah, he's he doesn't have any slots. What I did with his last slot was I got him survival as a skill. Where is it? Right here. Because it lessens harm to crew in times of drought, hunger, storm, and blizzard. So if you're ever out at sea, it's a good thing to have. You can go without food, and you could grind your survival skill by literally like dumping all your your uh, water and food, and just you know keeping that nearby. I have no idea what skill notes are. But anyways, we'll. Let's see if there's anything else I can update you on while we sail to Tunisia in this. Um, so yeah, we're going to focus on shipbuilding with Chuck Thunder. Charles Thunder, we're still kind of focusing on 
grinding his spice trading, which is getting up there. I'd like to get him to R10 on his own, so I don't have to use our uh, plus four skill stuff anymore. Um, and as he levels, you know, maybe able to go into different uh, different skills here. Casting, we don't need to get into with him. Could do fabric treating and sewing, but I have that with my other tune. I thought about doing like adventure skills with this tune. I wanted to do um, salvage and hauling, but I need to get two more slots for that. Um, and I might need even unlock for that, so I know what to do with the lock boxes that I get. Should also get a collection too. I need to get salvage, collection, and haul first more than anything. And I think that'll be it for this tune. We're gonna do some adventuring at some point with him. Charles Thunder likes it, but Chuck Thunder, not so much. Um so that's the plan with that. Let's say hello to the world. I haven't done that yet. Hello world. They don't know I'm recording. They just don't know. They may ask. Um, let's bail fire. Hello. Say recording. A starting episode of shipbuilding. Literally just the, the prereqs. To start. That's literally all we're doing right now. As I've shown, you need to get level 3 repair and then to Tunis to get shipbuilding. And then once you're in shipbuilding, let's see, once you're finally in shipbuilding, they have one of these uh, starting situations. Um, your goal, and this is right from the UWO log spot. Your goal is to stay as long as possible at sea waiting. Do not use the Oxford skills during grinding as it will all have your proficiency gain. So I don't have any Oxford skills with Chuck Thunder, so that'll be easy. He's not ever been to uh, Oxford yet, which may be something. Um, yeah, I'm not going to get to R20. Psh, definitely not. Definitely not taking it that far. Um, so choose a ship with lots of sailing days to build. So there are certain ships that you would choose to build. Um the way that you rank your shipbuilding skill is you want to build ships that are take a long time to do so because that's what's going to give you shipbuilding skill um, improvements are also going to give you some good proficiency but um, just because of the need for SSIPs it's not the best thing to do so you're not going to use that um, but that's one thing uh, you're going to pick certain ships to, to make. I don't know what the early game ships are, which is S, uh, shipbuilding level one, but some popular choices according to the blog spot are Venetian Gallius. Um, and you do this based off of where you try to build a ship. Um, so that just does depend. Um, you can build the Venetian Gallius in Venice, Italy, or southern France. You can build trading large galleons. Um, and Vaisals, uh, they're built in the European capitals, starting cities, so pretty much all European capital cities, and Turkish galleys in Tunis and Algiers. But they're not cheap to make. Now, of course, there is an investment, and we're going to find out what that investment is um, in just a moment. Because we're just arriving in Tunis right about now. People are giving some tips. You're kind of just going to be picking up a shipbuild in one shipyard and going to the next and just make it part of your 
typical routine. So that's literally what we're going to do here. So we are going to do that right now. Let's go to, gosh, where do I get you building from? Is it, I forget now. Where did I say we were going to get it from? The Maritime GM. Okay, that's what I thought. Maritime GM. Now, we don't have the this, the job where it's favored um, just yet because we need to get our battle skill up, but we are going to show you how to do the basics of it. So we're going to go to the Maritime Guild. Shipbuilding costs 25. Oh, and a battle level of 7. How close are we? How close are we to battle levels of level 7? Oh, we're at level 3. Oh, uh, well, fudge. We learned something. We learned something the hard way. So, which means we are going to grind some battles. We are going to grind the battleships here. Uh, gosh. How are we going to do this? Change my ship to a battleship of some kind. I really don't have a battleship. Do we have other equipment that we could put on this ship? Ship parts? Not really. 16 cannons. Can we get to 16? No. No, we can't, right? 16 cannons, I could do 14. I could do 10 and 8, that's 18. Now, 14 is all I could do. Alright. So, here goes nothing. I really don't, this is just not going to work for us. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't, I don't think we're going to be able to do this. I gotta find ships that I could battle right now. In this end of the area here, this is gonna be tough ships. I might have to help them. <laughs> never, never had this problem before. Well, that means we are going to do whatever we can to help this situation out. So we are going to we are going to take some experience boosts for five hour five hours to here, and we are going to find some ships to battle until we hit level six. I don't think it's going to be this like that hard to do, especially with some help. I don't even have cannons on this ship. Oh, I'm freaking done. I am not prepared for this. Okay, we may be able to do this. We don't have a lot of everything, but we may be able to do this. We need to get closer to the ship. That's what we need. If we could sink a ship with this, we may be able to level up. We'll see. Yes. All right, next ship. It's 
working. He's using his own dead ship to block my attacks. Alright, we can totally do this now. Last off. Nice. Alright. 24 battle XP. This is going to be a while. Alright guys, well. You now know what I have to do for the remainder of this episode. So I'm going to have to take some quests. Take a couple of quests. What happened to my other ship here? Oh my gosh, where'd it go? Well, we are turning around, that's for sure. That is crazy. Fail. Forgot I need battle level 6 for ship building. LOL. Alright. So let's go, let's go back to the commercial district. And let's do some battle level quests, I guess. Let's see what I can get here. Oh, it's the Merchant Guild, I'm sorry. We don't want to do it at the Merchant Guild. Maritime Guild. It's the next one over. That's what I thought. Alright, just want to see, do you have any jobs that are good for me? Oh, I don't have order endorsement. Ugh. Okay, we were not prepared. I thought it would be simpler. This game never makes it any simpler than just failing at things. All right, what can we do? This one wants us to go to Spain. Sure. Not the maritime one. I don't know who Trueheart thinks. I don't think that Trueheart knows who I am. Black like I, I know that. I'm just lazy. True heart, I know. Gosh. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Okay, I don't need to be explain this. No, no, ugh. No questions. I'm okay. Gosh. Thanks for the Chrono Quest situation. to Seville. Money isn't an issue.
Well, guys, you've now learned the failures of not being prepared to make a video and how quickly people will think that you're stupid. <laughs> <sighs> and I am pretty stupid, let's be honest. I should have known better. And now that I've gone and used these boosts for experience and for proficiency, I might as well just do the maritime quests for school. So, I might do that off camera. There's really no point in me showing you guys leveling up to level 6 here. But, you now know what my plan of action is. Is to go all the way back to Tunis when I'm done leveling to level 6 to go get the shipbuilding skill. And then I'll do another episode, if I don't get any chance to do it today, to show you guys the first steps to making ships. That'll be the next time that we stop in. So, again, everyone, thanks for stopping by. It's been Chuck Thunder. You guys are going great. Always treat me well. And uh, doing, uh, doing me a solid by subscribing and watching and liking the videos. Thanks, guys. Take it easy.